Um, hi again, we're back on these gates today. It's a horrible, drizzly day. We'll see if we, how far we can get. Oh, see if we can get them up. Um, the problem is, I mentioned before, there's a bit of a gap issue. I don't want the gap in the middle no more than an inch. So I'm going to have to make the gap a bit wider here, which is fine. I'm happy so with that. So I've had to change the hinges. I've got these ones. These are going to have to go right on that edge, like so. And I'm going to have to put this hinge, I think. I don't know because I haven't 100% worked it out yet, but I think this is going to be the, the case. I'm going to have to put this hinge with a slight gap. Hold that, Laura. A slight gap, perhaps like that, which doesn't matter. Um, but I think that's why I'm going to have to go to take up the, the space between. So what we've gone and done um, is put this 4x2 um, four by, four by along the bottom. Uh, it'd been easier if we had a 2x2 two two because it um, would have fit along the ground without having to dig that little trench bit out. But then it might have sagged anyway. But So what we can do now is test fit everything and see exactly how it's going to be. That is level along there. So we can work out everything sort of semi place it and then work out where things have got to go so yeah we'll get on with that and i'll show you how we're getting it's on quite a bit later there. now um, things have not gone great here um these are things that can go wrong um in hindsight i should have gone to wider posts um because i had to over go that on the hinge so i've had to go off and get a baton which to be honest i think it looks okay there like that it does the job and it's better than seeing a horrible gap there so that's the way we've gone i've tried to think of other ways trying to even think of using a bottom hinge at the top but then the brace it holds the gate together the weight is all there so that's how we've done it i don't think that looks too bad to be fair um so we've got to do the other gate the same now we went so we had to take our bit out of there which is i want to put that back in just to get everything sort of straight and level in we've got the bottom hinges on they're bolted right the way through so yeah i think that looks neat enough and the same with that side uh we've just got to put the other band on the other gate now um but put that batten on it um and um, we've already done the bottom hinge on the other gate as well but i've got to take that off to put the batten in and then i think that's about as good as we get it really there's a there's about an inch or so gap in the middle, which I'm I'm not too bothered about that. This will this will do the this will do the trick. And it was a chief's option as well, because the bits of wood was only were only about three, three, four pounds or whatever, and they specially cut them for me as well, which is good of them. I went to a place which they then it's not like a builder's merchants so much, you know, it's a bit more personal. They'll take care of your needs, not make you they'll do it there and then, not make you wait all day for what you want done. So yeah that's good of good of them so um hopefully this is all gonna work out fine now i've still got to um, drill and put in the the top yeah top so um the bottom one goes upwards the top one will go downwards into there it just um the opportunist thief it won't make it, it so easy for them they'd have to come equipped with spanners and everything to undo the hinges and what have you it still wouldn't be hard but it would sort of put people off if someone really wanted to steal gates they, they all they have to undo is them or whatever they could steal them but um, once I've done the job, that's um, over to the customer. I'll do my best. You could, if you really want to, you could put a spot of weld on them, which would make it harder. But um, yeah, let's hope they don't get stolen. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to get on with this other side gate now, and then we'll hopefully to hang them and nearly be done this. All I'm going to, the only other job I'm going to do today is put the um, swing over candle on, and somewhere along here, there's probably some old holes for it. But um, yeah, they are, there they are. Um, they're the um, the cabin hook to hook the gates back, but that I'm hoping I can do it into there. I don't want to screw it into there, but we'll have to see what's what there. I've probably gone and got two short ones of them, but we shall see. Deal with that when we get to it. But yeah, the other gate's ready and marked now, so we'll get that other bit of batten up the side, and um, when we get that up there, we can get all the hardware on. And then hook it on but if you look from a distance there i don't think that gate looks half bad really uh if you really could be picky you could notice that that sticks out a bit there but the baton sort of takes your eye off that a bit you just got to improvise sometimes not everything goes perfect and um i'm one of the, <laughs> the worst for sort of thinking yep measure up quick blah 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 and um yeah get it wrong this job's been a, a long story about that sort of thing but anyway i don't want to think about that now i just want to get this, this done so yeah i'll show you when we've um sort of more let's got them up then 
Okay, right, we're back on the gate um, today again. Um, you'd have seen what we did yesterday. Had a few problems, but we hopefully are getting through them now. Um, I had a bit of trouble with um, hinge. Everything's gone wrong on this job. Um, I can just reach. I need to get it out. The hinge. Oh, let me show you. On top of the toilet. <laughs> the hinge was actually bent. Um, so I had to take out my dad's, and we've got a lot straighter. We had to heat it along there to get it straight because it wouldn't sit right on the post. It was like like that. It was offset a bit. So that was that was one problem. That's why we couldn't hang it yesterday. We ran out of daylight as well. So we actually did, did get that one totally up. Um, not too much to do. Hang that door now. Gate, not door. Um, and um, put the top hinge in because I put. I think that's what I said yesterday. Put them downwards, that's so harder to um, someone to steal. Um, and then we've got to put the little cabin hooks on the wall. Um, I just strapped that one up yesterday. And then put the piece in the middle with the two um, poles in for the um, bolt things into the, into the ground. So hopefully, if this gate all goes well, we'll be onto them other little finishing off bits to rake the gravel in and just sort of be, be done then. So yeah, we're nearly getting there. This has been a bit of a saga, if there's sometimes, you know, things are just a pain and that's the way it is. So um, yeah, I think them strips along the side don't look too bad there. I think they, I think it sort of works. Um, and yeah, I think um, it's gonna be all right. Um, I could have, I think I mentioned yesterday about going on wider posts. The problem was going wider posts, there was gonna be less of a gap in the middle. And they didn't want it really any less than it was before. So that's why we did stick with the four inch post I remembered afterwards. Um, so that's why we went that way. So yeah, we um, uh, are just gonna try and get this up now. I can hear Laura coming now with the gate so we can get cracking and see if we can get it done. Yeah, all going quite well now. I've got the cabin hooks on the wall, from them. So we'll plug them in and put them on there, so they're working oh, great. Um, I've done both of them. I've got the swing over, sort of catch mechanism thing um, on. Um, you've just seen me cutting off the last bolts on there. I've got that hinge. I had a little bit of hassle because I'd gone right up to the adjustment on that and it still wasn't quite right, but I managed to move the top hinge over a little bit to get that right, so that's all good. So, um, basically we are nearly there now. The last job to do is put the poles in the ground to put the drop hooks in. I've got to have a look and see how all well that's going to work. Hopefully it isn't too difficult. But I will quickly show you them shut. Really, really glad to be at this stage. Now there you go, they look, they look alright now, I'm pleased with them. Um, yeah the bits of the wood down the edge, hardly noticed, I think that all sort of worked out right. I've got a gap of probably about an inch in the middle, which I'm happy, I'm happy with that as well, that's what I thought I'd have, because um, like I said the gates were um, just standard off the shelf size, so I had to make up the difference, but if the post had been out another couple of inches there, would have actually narrowed the driveway a little bit only by a couple of inches but still when oil lorries and that get up it becomes a bit of a problem so i'm glad i've actually gone with thinner post and managed to get over over the issues we've had um so yeah i'm going to concrete the, the middle poles in and then um try to go down about i don't know half a foot or so just to put a little block in there to embed them in the block and then we can just rake the rest of the gravel in and we are done here. Um, you see, I think I mentioned before, but I put the bolt, the top hinges in that way so no one can just lift them off. They'd have to undo the bolts and mess around with that. So, um, you know, if security measures, it's beyond that, it's up to the customer really. 
Um, so yeah, uh, these are going to look okay. Yeah, they're going to look pretty smart. Um, they always look better, I think, when they're gr the green wood. When they sort of get a bit, of get a little bit weathered, then it just brings it all, all the like the posts and everything all together. Then, but at the moment, that's um, it's fine. That's looking good. Um, we're just about finished here now. Um, I have got to just pop back tomorrow, probably for ten, well, fifteen, twenty minutes, just to fill in that bit there when that concrete's set in there, and um, just check everything over. Just um, you know, pull some gravel over and all that, and just do the final tidying up. And there's a few bits of um, bits of rubbish there to take a bit of wood and, wood and that, so um, I'll do that. The only thing I'm a bit worried about at the moment is people coming out messing around with them. So I'm waiting a few minutes just till that um, water goes away a bit, which on a hot day it goes quick, but today it's quite slow. So um, they're they're okay. But what I wanted to do as well is just at the end just um, uh, get the grinding disc and just grind them off a bit uh, a bit leveler not that it's that important but if you can see that they're going nicely there so they will be all right I just wanted to set um what i did in the bottom of the hole i embedded them in some wood first a wooden post and then concrete all around the wooden post so you know it'll hold it all in place and the wood is still treated so last years anyway but then the concrete will hold it anyway so um yeah, that's how i did it just always the easiest way today so yeah that's from the in inside the gate so uh, yeah please that's all done just finished with things clearing up around side and that today so yeah that's all done i'll just show you from outside and there you go finished job hope you can see i take to the sun but yeah it all went in quite nicely in the end glad that's done so yeah thanks for watching i'll be along with another video again soon